all right so i'm um, working on the pergola today and just showing you something that i'm doing um, when you're doing pieces on your own hubby had to leave to take the kid to horseback riding so i'm confident enough to tackle this on my own basically i put all of the boards just sat them up there and i actually measured out where i wanted the two end pieces measured everything and went ahead and screwed those down using my little ladder here Boop -boop. and now I just put a piece of string up and I was just going to show you something that people do professionals I guess do I watch YouTube a lot I watch contracting shows a lot so I'm just going up my ladder and just showing you here so I went ahead and put a piece of string I just put a small staple and tied a string there and then I did the same thing on the opposite side. So now, as I'm putting these boards up, I have a reference line that I can move these boards back as I space them out and make sure that visually, because they, they're not gonna be 100% precise, but very close, but visually they're gonna look um, nice and neat. So getting ready to start doing that now. Um, and also just to mention, because uh, we're always working on three things at a time. We went ahead and put um, one of the deck boards back. And we noticed once we put it back, which I expected actually, that the piece that we needed to cut to custom fit the piece around the board, I knew it was going to be very thin. So I already expected to uh, add a support on the bottom of that. And you won't see it once I put the rocks and everything up. You won't see that support. Um, once the rocks and everything, it won't be they're very noticeable. But that support is going to be there. And then I put two screws to hold that into the board because it was already trying to break. And then I went ahead and attached that support to the deck right, board right next to it. And I did the same thing on the other side. So that's what I'm doing to keep, I wanted to keep the deck boards. I didn't want to just cut out a rectangle and have a, a, a piece hanging and you see the four by four in the frame. So um, that's what hubby is working on. Uh, notching out the other board and here's the support. I already stuck it on there um, while waiting on him. This time I put two pieces um, in the board that is stable and then I'll have one piece in the board that is kind of floating a little bit that little extra piece and the mulch will cover that up as well so again it'll keep that consistency and you won't see it once i put the mulch back up to that little part there because this is kind of heaped and it's on a hill all right i did go ahead and put these braces on as well i wanted to make sure that i had the um four by four is not moving as i do this part so I went ahead and put the two side rails on. I'm gonna have two more side rails on the very bottom. Uh, same size four by four cedar pieces that I stole off of that uh, scrap wood that I got. And then I've started again, putting the slats on for the pergola. I've got the swing pushed in a weird position right now just to get out of our way, but everything will be in place and we'll be able to test it out shortly. All right, 